morning, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome to day one of life with a prosthetic leg that might actually work. Last night, I went out with a couple friends and my husband to celebrate my one year amputation anniversary, which very poetically was also the day that I got fitted with and got to bring home my new prosthetic leg. I made a risky decision. I thought that I would actually wear my leg out, but we were gonna be out for like three or four hours and I figured I could always like take it off and put it in a car if I absolutely have to. I didn't have to. Like I was able to wear it sitting down for a number of hours and walk around on crutches with it and it felt okay and when I came home check out this picture there were no marks on it of like pressure points or red marks or anything like that I'm really excited and I'm really encouraged by this and I just woke up a few minutes ago as you might be able to tell by the status of how sleepy I look I checked my leg and still there's no like issues there's no bruises or anything like that so I'm gonna take another bit of a little risk and I'm gonna try to wear it most of the day let's get this puppy on and head out to a coffee shop to work some and see if this might actually work for me. So I'm popping in here real quick to say that today is the last day of the fundraiser. If you buy one of these shirts, the majority of the proceeds go to support the Jordan Thomas Foundation. This foundation helps kids get the limbs that they deserve. After not having a leg for a year, I realize how frustrating that is and kids shouldn't have to worry about that. So hop over to the link in the description to get yours today and learn a little bit more about the Jordan Thomas Foundation. Okay, so step one, when I took my leg off last night, I always have to rinse the liner. I use a little bit of just ivory soap right there. Just get this nice and cleaned off because because it starts smelling kind of weird when it's in contact with your skin all day and you're sweating and you want to make sure that you know nothing weird grows on it yeah nice and cold which is a great way to wake up so this is what i have on all night this is the the shrinker so it's just like really tight but thin fabric it helps my leg keep it shape and it also keeps swelling down so i'm gonna take this off and put my liner on to prepare my leg for my leg that's confusing to prepare my residual limb for my prosthetic leg Cold. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, so here's my leg, but you may know that there's pants attached to it still. This is, I think, by far the most annoying part of having a prosthetic leg, is that you can't just stand up and put your pants on in the morning. This took like three minutes to actually get on my leg last night, because you can't bend the ankle, and you gotta make sure that your pants can stretch enough to get over your leg, which for me is not an issue. I'm a big fan of stretchy pants. But uh, if I don't want to wear the same jeans the next day, I gotta undress my leg before I redress my leg before I dress myself. <laughs> this looks like a healthy angle for a leg to to bend up. Free! Now to actually get this puppy attached to me. And now I have two legs. Now time to get ready for the day like a normal person with two legs. I ask myself, where should I go? Did I do enough to feed my soul? And you're beating, beating on my drum. So I haven't even like actually got ready for the day yet and I'm totally out of breath from getting my leg on and shoe on. This will be like my my day one with a prosthetic leg morning routine. I'm gonna do this again in like six months and hopefully it'll be like a one minute clip where I'm just like bam, done and walking and not sweating and taking a break to breathe. To breathe. See that cute little kitty down there? Hey Louie. As much as I would love to stay and cuddle with the cats. My leg is on, I'm ready for the day, it still feels okay, so I'm gonna go get some work done at a coffee shop and see how it goes. I wonder if the staring is gonna be more pronounced with a prosthetic leg or with no leg at all. Leave your guesses in the comment section down below. So this is like a weird pet peeve of mine. There are some prosthetic legs that like actually build you a calf so you could wear pants and it looks really normal, but those prosthetics usually aren't as active. Like you can't do as much, they're not as functional. Personally, I wasn't gonna sacrifice function for looking more like a normal two-legger. So it's just like a metal, you know, like metal pieces going down, right? And so it looks like I have a very empty calf and I hate how that looks in pants or leggings or anything like that. Instead of having it just look vacant and empty and weird. I roll my pant legs up. I've always done that whenever I've been able to wear a leg, which has been like a grand total of not many times before this. I just feel like it kind of looks more normal if people can see what's underneath so they don't have to stare at like a waving pant leg that doesn't have much in it to try to figure out what the heck is going on, if that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
So I've had my leg on for about three hours now, uh, mostly just sitting down in the coffee shop, like having my legs crossed or uncrossed or up or down, and it is not any more pain than I've felt before. Like when I was just wearing my liner or my shrink or anything like that, which is really, really, really cool. And I get to sit around and actually have a leg on and look like a two-legger. Midday check-in, things are good. Gotta keep an eye out for those uh, ice patches here in Colorado though. So we're on our like six now. Still okay. In fact, we weren't even gonna try to go take a walk. A very short walk with crutches, of course. Don't fall when I'm not near you. It is funny though, because you have no right butt cheek. <laughs> Thanks to Brian's expert coaching, by the end of the walk, I was using one crutch and it didn't feel terrible. Thanks, babe. Welcome. <laughs> Should probably take my leg off for a little while and, and give it a rest. What we're about to see is my leg skin after about six and a half, seven hours in the leg after the first day. Hopefully there aren't gonna be any like red spots or bruises or anything like that. Those signal a problem, but the fact that I haven't had significant pain makes me think that it's probably okay. From my understanding, if you're wearing a prosthetic consistently, you do wanna take it off once or twice during the day just to like check your skin, make sure there are no major issues, dump out the sweat if it's a hot day. So let's take a look. Wow, like no red marks. That's the spot that hurts a lot. I guess it's kind of a little angry right there, but that's like where my bone comes out. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. <laughs> and, ooh, that was a little too far. And we're back in business. I'm gonna put my leg on for another couple hours. We're headed out to see a movie with friends and it's feeling okay. Hi, cakes. <laughs> Think I should wear my leg tonight? Oh my God, she's so cute. She says yes. If I'm able to wear it till I come back home, it'll be just about an entire day with my leg. Fingers crossed real tight. Cakes, I need those crutches. We almost made it to the end of the day. So I was able to wear this until about eight o'clock and then it just got, it really activated like my phantom pain and phantom sensation and felt really weird and so took it off, chilled on the couch. Before that though, as you can see, uh, my friend's puppy dog decided to gnaw on the toes some, which I thought was pretty damn adorable. All in all, I'd say this is a very successful leg day. There are a couple steps we have to take before I can actually like be done, done for the day. I have to take my liner off and wash it every night clean and then I can actually lay down and go to sleep. It's been a long day. Good night, sunshine. Thanks guys, thanks for caring. Thank you to my patrons who make this channel possible and support me in so many ways. Thank you for spending a few minutes of your day here with me. I love you guys, I'm thinking of you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. Hand her from the sky.